Well, the day is already over, but nonetheless, welcome to Sunday's vlog. Now let's rewind and see what happened today, shall we? Well, look where we already are early this morning. Can you tell I've been sleeping in the car? But we realized last night about one in the morning that we forgot to get these kiddos the prizes they've earned so hard working on all those points. So <laughs> here we go. If you guys watched the haul over on Divine Deals this week, then these two little games will look familiar to you. This is the first game. That's actually a lot taller than I thought it was going to be. That's going to be pretty fun for these kiddos. They've got to try to throw these double balls attached by a little cord and see if they can't get it to sit up there then we also got this can slam we showed you and that's going to be fun too they actually have to try to get the frisbee through the slot in the side so it'll be pretty fun gearing up for some big competition in here boys against the girls who will win well 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 look where we are Shocker, I know. <laughs> All right, got a few goodies in there. Trying to pick up some stuff for a DIY, but they didn't have quite everything I needed. So, not sure that I'll be able to hit the other Dollar Tree today. I don't think so. It's already 2.15. I'm a little tired. I need some rest before the service tonight, of which we should be able to record that. So that will be over on Dina Rose, just Dina Rose, my name. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be up tonight. If not, maybe it'll be up tomorrow. So that's kind of exciting, but I think that means I'm gonna have to skip out on the second Dollar Tree today. And hopefully I can find what I need at my local store, which not holding my breath on that one because my local store doesn't have a lot most of the time. But anyway, come on, let's get to mom's house so I can catch a few minutes of rest. Woo, I feel better. I had a long nap, you guys, about an hour and a half, maybe out, maybe two hours, somewhere around in there, but I feel so much better, and I am refreshed and ready, about to preach in the adult service tonight. I'm excited. I got a pitcher, a cup of water, a big bowl, and a towel. <laughs> so if you want to know what all this is going to be about, you'll have to tune in. Hopefully, if we can get the camera to work up there, we'll be able to record it all and have it on the main channel tomorrow. But right now, I've got to go and get some of our teenagers. We're sitting in big service tonight. Because as you are mingling around people, my friends, you should feel it. You should feel the power of God coming through you. There should be something that happens in your life on a daily basis, no matter where it is, no matter who you're around, that causes you to say, Whoa, heaven and earth just collided, and I was right in the middle of it. Who was it who touched me? I started to tell this story earlier. I want to tell you this story as we close. And then we're going to have a time of prayer, but hopefully this is going to kind of ignite you and the urgency of the hour to let God begin working through you. But as we talked about that long journey to Galgotha this morning, we were talking to those children about how Jesus literally, his sweat became blood. They had beat him so bad. The Bible tells us he was unrecognizable. These portraits you see of Jesus hanging on that cross are nothing. Nothing like what it really was. He was unrecognizable. They pulled his beard, which pulled huge chunks of his flesh. His back was so ripped open by those bones, those shards of bones, that you could see his bones. He was unrecognizable. This was not something easy for him. Three times we hear him say, Father, I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. But it's not up to me. It's up to you. And I'm dependent on you to get me through this tomorrow. We see Jesus' humanity in that moment when that sweat turned to blood. There was no divinity there. There was absolute 100% dependence and total reliance on his Father and the Holy Spirit to get him through that moment. Because that's what makes the cross beautiful. He was thinking of you. And how dare us think 
that some chocolate Easter eggs and a little bitty bunny is what this day is all about. This day is so much more than that. It is the greatest day in history, the day that changed the world. The day that believers had looked for all their life from the inception of time. This is what they had been promised and it was about to happen and Jesus was thinking of you. All right, all right, service is over. I feel like it went very well. And I think, I think we were able to get it all on tape. I think the battery cooperated and all that good stuff. So hopefully I'll have that up over on the ministry channel by noon tomorrow. Might even be on there sometime tonight because you know we do have to stay up to wait for when calls the hot. I might have plenty of time, plenty of time. But anyway, come on, let's eat. I'm hungry. So we're eating at Wendy's and look what I see. On every table, we know they've been to Dollar Tree. We have made it home. Look here, I'm gonna sleep. Makeup's going everywhere. <laughs> but tis the regular standard Sunday night routine. Anyway, nonetheless, we are finally home. So hopefully I can get some of this stuff edited and up for you guys before three o'clock. Cause you know, what happens at three? Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there with you. Say good night to you all. I do want to thank you all for hanging out with us again today. It was a beautiful Sunday, and I want to remind you it is divine life, so go and live it with purpose. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. <laughs>